As federal employees, we're fortunate to live and work within one of the country's largest intact ecosystems, the Greater Yellowstone Ecosystem, or GYE for short. In that spirit, the land management agencies within Greater Yellowstone have been working together since 1964 to manage the ecosystem through the Greater Yellowstone Coordinating Committee, or GYCC. The GYCC enables representatives from the National Park Service, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service, and the U.S. Forest Service to pursue opportunities of mutual cooperation and coordination in the management of these federal lands. The Sustainable Operations Subcommittee, or SOS, is a subcommittee of the GYCC. Its mission is to identify, promote, and implement day-to-day -day sustainable behaviors and practices in our workplace in order to reduce our agency's operational footprints. The SOS strives to balance daily operational needs with the promotion of sustainable practices. In 2009, the SOS, along with other partners, completed an ecosystem-wide greenhouse gas emissions inventory for the 10 agency units within the GYE. Decreasing budgets and the call to reduce our ecological and environmental footprints prompted GYCC managers to commit to reducing our combined greenhouse gas emissions by at least 21% by 2020. We appreciate that all of our employees have a commitment to caring for and sustaining these lands that we work so hard to manage. We're relying on all of you to help us reach this goal. I'm Bill West, Refuge Manager at the Red Rock Lakes National Wildlife Refuge in Lima, Montana. I live at the refuge in the winter, but I commute on weekends to see my wife. We own a home in Belgrade, Montana. It's about a 150 mile drive. So I have been paying close attention to my driving and to my fuel economy. And I've found that whether I'm driving my diesel pickup or my sedan, I get about three miles to the gallon improved mileage when I drive 10 miles an hour slower, 65 miles an hour versus 75 miles an hour on the interstate. I encourage others in the Great Yellowstone area that work here as you know, their families to drive a little slower, uh, stay within the speed limit, try that 10 miles an hour less, and maybe we can harvest 15% reduction in fuel use over the whole area. I've been able to make these changes in my behavior. Consider making the same changes. Jackie Buchanan, Forest Supervisor here on the Bridger Teton National Forest in Jackson, Wyoming. The Forest Service is very committed to reducing our impact on the landscape. Uh, we are currently in the process of designing a new Forest Supervisor's office for the Bridger Teton National Forest. This is an opportunity for us to make a significant difference in reducing greenhouse gas emissions, possibly up to 20% from where we were with the old building. We look at it as uh, not just an opportunity, but actually a responsibility that we have um, as a part of the government to, to show how we as individuals can really start to make a difference and, and be a part of the change. I'm Dave Myers, Forest Supervisor on the Beaverhead Deer Lodge National Forest in Dillon, Montana. Managing your computers by turning them off at the end of the day saves money and it saves energy. A typical computer, if you leave it on all year long, can use up to $93 worth of energy. But if you turn that computer off at the end of the day, and I don't mean just log off, I mean turn it off, you, the costs are only $22 per year, and that's a, a savings of $71. Like in my office, I have 60 employees, 60 computers. So when you do the math, that adds up. Now for an agency the size of the Forest Service, 30,000 people, that's substantial savings. Again, not only just money, but energy as well. Sometimes employees are concerned about the amount of time it takes for a computer to boot up in the morning. Develop a simple behavior is first thing when you get to the office, 
hit the button, turn your computer on, then go about putting your coat away and getting a drink. When you get back, your computer's booted up and ready to go. It's a simple action. It takes only a few seconds and it has big results. Two million plastic beverage bottles are used in the United States every five minutes. At Grand Teton National Park, we are working closely with our concessioners to reduce the amount of waste going into landfills. And we are working with our employees to educate them and provide them with water bottles that are reusable and recyclable. So Grand Teton's green team designed a new logo for a BPA-free, affordable, reusable, and eventually recyclable bottle. We handled the bottles over to 200 employees, permanent and seasonals in the park, and now we are selling those in our visitor centers where there are water filling stations available for those bottles. And we hope to spread the word to our 4 million visitors a year. I'm Brent Larson, Forest Supervisor on the Caribou Targi National Forest. In order to meet our greenhouse gas reduction goals that we have set for ourselves, there are several things in relation to fleet utilization that can make a significant difference. As you assess your vehicle fleet needs, take into account the vehicles you actually need for trailer towing. Replace only what you need the balance of the fleet should be replaced with more fuel-efficient vehicles. Not every field-going employee needs a three-quarter ton or one-ton truck assigned to them. Right-sizing, choosing the appropriate size vehicle for the job at hand, makes sense and will greatly reduce our environmental footprint. I'm Mary Erickson. I'm the Forest Supervisor on the Custer and Gallatin National Forests. There are many choices that we can make that relate to sustainability in our day-to-day -day operations. For me, the use of video teleconferencing is something that makes a difference for the agency operations but also has incredible personal benefits. If we plan ahead and use video conferencing equipment, it will save time and money. It can be a very efficient and effective way of conducting business. And on a personal level, it also saves time for us to be home with family and doing those other things that are important in our lives. So in these times of scarce travel dollars, the thoughtful use of video conferencing can help save money, time, and resources, really can promote the safety of employees through less exposure time on the road, and also allows us to use those critical travel dollars where it's most needed. My name is Steve Callan. I'm the refuge manager for the National Elk Refuge. Water is a precious resource, especially in the West, and water conservation is a high priority for federal agencies in the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. Old underground water lines can leak and waste a lot of water. On the National Elk Refuge, we replaced the water supply lines to just eight buildings, and our water consumption dropped from 276,000 gallons of water in one month down to 67,000 gallons of water. That was a 76% decrease. We were wasting 2.5 million gallons of water a year. I want to encourage 
all of our federal facilities to consider evaluating your underground water supply lines and replacing them. I'm Dan Wink, Superintendent of Yellowstone National Park. Yellowstone has over 600 vehicles in the park, everything from heavy equipment burning gas and diesel fuel to hybrid vehicles. If you were to leave your vehicle uh, for more than 10 seconds, restarting the vehicle would use less gas. Idling uses about a gallon of gas per hour. Many visitors come through tour buses. We are working with the tour companies to have their drivers shut off their engines in wildlife jams or near hotels when they load and unload visitors. Yellowstone is a class one airship. We have regulations in place that require us to reduce emissions within the national park. Simple things can make a big difference. My name is Joe Alexander, and I'm the forest supervisor on the Shoshone National Forest. In an office setting, one of the things that you could focus on is your thermostats. It's important to set them around 68 degrees during the winter time and around 72 to 74 degrees during the summer. It's also important for you to come prepared to work dressed in layers so that you could be comfortable at what those temperatures are. Another area is the use of your lights in the office. It's real easy to walk in and out of your office and not turn the lights off. It's okay during lunchtime or a break or something like that to shut your lights off. Um, this could be a significant savings for you and for your office in both energy consumption and dollar-wise. I was recently at a hotel and, and left the room with my two kids to go to the pool. When I left there, I asked my daughter if she'd turn the lights out and she simply said, Dad, why, don't, why do you care? We don't have to pay for it. And it really kind of resonated with me that it's not necessarily about that. It's being responsible. We are the conservation leaders. Part of being a leader is, is leading by example. Please join me in being a leader in energy conservation for the greater Yellowstone ecosystem. You can make a difference while working in this one-of-a-kind ecosystem. Together, we can be a model for other land agencies.